Right, so with the new bike, it shows up a few problems because it's a little bit rare, a little bit difficult to get bits for it. So you have to think outside of the box. One of the things that was wrong with this bike was the bloody Speedo. The Speedo is KPH, rrr, faded, rrr, broken needle, scrapyard bound. So what you do, the first thing you do, what bike uses this wheel? What bike will turn the speedo cable at the required revolutions so that the instrument that you put at the other end will record the correct well, speed? pretty much there's three that instantly spring to mind. I know there's probably loads, but there's three that spring to mind. The 600 Reveri, the 650 NTV 650, and the Dullsville. Which one of those three bikes would give you a speedo that's going to give you the correct readings and you could fit into the boss for the bros. <laughs> so the Reveri and the 650 have a different size speedo, but the Dullsville doesn't. I bought the entire thing for 15 big ones. The speedo easily comes out and then, with a little bit of playing, fits the boss of the bros. <laughs> Try saying that quick, mate. Boss of the dross, bros of the dross, right there. Oh, I can't do it. There you go. So now I have a speedo that can be used on the bike, and it's mile an hour, and it's English. Corrigé, monsieur. <laughs> Okay. So, here you are, restoring a bike that's a little bit unusual. The bros is unusual. Uh, there's not many in, in England. So if you want parts, you're going to have to think outside of the box. Have a look at this. Okay, okay that's the best. Look at the state of that. That needs replacing. Look at the state of that. Oh, you huh? ready? Yeah. Look at the state of that. That needs replacing the the pipe as well as the banjo. Okay, ready. Look at the state of this. Look, that's seized. Well, it's probably the cable, but look at the state of it. The switch has got no writing on it at all. So it needs replacing with a decent one. Ready. Look at here. Look, there's no bar ends. They don't exist. So you've got to buy bar ends. So look at what that has just cost. Good that's for effectively, that's a hundred quid just for those bits. So you can spend a hundred quid, yeah, no problem, or buy a donor. Look at the state of that, look, it's really nice. That'll clean up gorgeous. Look at the state of that, it's really nice. This whole pipe is in really nice nick. So is the banjo. Look at this here. It wants cleaning, but look, all the writing's on it, and, and look, the huh. choke moves yeah and the bar ends are brand new so okay okay so a hundred quid the donor bike has already given me a hundred quid worth of stuff just on the handlebars and it cost me 500 quid for the whole bike no light lighting okay ready so why buy a donor bike well what makes a donor bike? Let's have a look. Look at that. Hold on. Okay, there you go. Look at that. See that. I think it looks better when you've zoomed in on these bits. Because it seems to just bring it in a bit sharper. Mm. Look how that's been crushed. That's been crushed in. Oh, okay, see another one. That has been crushed in. Really Look at that, been smashed off. Missing sprocket, missing sprocket cover, missing gear lever, missing. Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, 
take a shot of that because it looks great. Look at that. That does look grim. Oh yeah, you can see it from the side, it looks really concaved. Mm. Look at that wheel, look, look, look. Look at that caliper. Look at that disc. Look at that. Do I can go all the way around? Look at that. Do that. If I go up from the seat here. So, you can see how there's loads of things that this bike needs mm -hmm. to get it back on the road. If this was a project, yeah, you could do that. But I've bought it because of all the good bits, which I could then take off and use to get my bike on, on its wheels again. So really, a donor bike can be anything. So long as it's got stuff on it that you can have, it will yield. If it's scrap, then it's not worth buying it unless there's one particular thing that you want and it's in good nick. But this particular bike, for me, was lucky because it came up at the right time at the right price and it's beautiful because it's got all of the bits on it that I need. Lovely chubbly. Perfect.